It's almost done. Thank you. So let's see. Where do we have some good fighting? Right over here. Okay, let's see. Nice. Bracket on left. And let's just pick some good. Okay, I can pay it, take it around something like this. And I will just choose video because I don't want any audio because we're doing AMV, so the music will be the audio. Um, sometimes I use the audio, as you might know from from the Beyond the Boundary AMV and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, where are we in the music track? Well, look at that. I almost hit a perfect edit right there. <laughs> right. Okay, let's do this. What I usually do, um, it's a maybe a little tip for you. Play the music and when you hit the like hit uh, in the music and when you BAM the crash and the kick and everything hit space again so you like got the timing right on it for example right here okay I missed it let's go back and I pressed it right at the hit so now what you can do is like this just pull it a bit pull it a bit Right when he hits it, something like this, probably. Perfect. So there, here's some. Uh, wow, this fits perfectly even from the start. Okay. And I took a snare in the music. I will just make like this. Drag that in so we have an edit right there. Let's go back. The next snare. Oh okay. god. Right. Uh, something to think about uh, when you're editing. Uh, I don't know where it is. But, but S. It's uh, called snap. Oh, it's right over here. It snaps. So whenever you like, you're dragging around. It snaps to your. What do you call that? The line of your, where you're editing. So it snaps to different parts and stuff like that. Otherwise, I otherwise, if snap is not on, it will less drag and it would be kind of hard to hit it. So I use snap so I can just pull it straight. Okay. find the beginning of that clip there we go and I will delete this what you can use also is the little dragging just like that if you want to move like the entirety of the projects closer together you can just ripple delete and it will delete everything in between right there so it will drag everything from the right to the left so it might uh, screw up your ending if you do like that so I'm just usually just gonna uh, drag it together and stuff like this so let's see timing timing if you can't tell I'm uh, editing for every snare right now so it's like dish, dish, dish. so a new clip every snare okay okay We don't want that in the middle, it's just necessary. Let's get it from where the stuff happening so we can fit it in. Alright, I have something else I want to show you as well. As I said before, you might, s as I did with the, the 
final episode of Railgun is. I said I sped up or slowed down. I don't count that as an effect. But if you want to, you can do like this. I'm just going to cut, cut it up. Right click the clip you want. And you choose speed slash duration. And you get, here you have 100% speed. No, I want it to be slow-mo. 50% speed. That will crap up the frame rate, but you can do it slow motion if you want. You can see it's choppy now. You can do like 80% and it might work a little better. It's still a little bit slower. Or you want to do it faster and it will be 200%. So I usually I usually speed it up when I need it in action. For example, right here, I could have used more speed, so more will fit into every snare. So if I do like this, like this, and this, maybe not that one, but you get the point like. Like, there, there are like this like happening happening uh, more in every frame or what you should say like clip you can even go to the extreme and do like 500% or something this would be super super down super fast you couldn't even see what it was but yeah so we got something over here uh, something Let's end it right there. So, how do I get this into a movie or a file? Okay, uh, let's do like we did before. Choose the region you want to... Oh. The region you want. This uh, region thing also snaps, so have snap on. It's really good. Uh, but now we have this region selected. We can press enter if you want this little red region want to be green Oh, the, the window actually showed this time, it had to render some time um, but yeah, if you want this into a file right now, you just go to file and export export media you will get this window here, right here with a lot of lot of options and selections but you want, what you want to do is, you want an H264 it's the, like standard uh, format today and then uh, there are some presets over here I got uh, way too much presets that you're ever gonna need but I got it with the program and I haven't been uh, I haven't been deleting them I just don't care but what y what you want to do is you want to render it as an HD 20p or 720p because that's what at least what I'm editing right now. If you want to do 1080, go for it. But 720, 23, 9, 7, 6. I can even go to 24 since the sequence was 24 frame rate. But yeah, so just format and 720. All this stuff should be, yeah, it's, it's what you need. And then just output. And let's go to the folder on my desktop, tutorial vids. And it's already called Black Bullet AMV2. Tutorial 1. Let's call that. Save. And then you just export it. And it will render some time. I don't even know how long this will take. It shouldn't be take long. Actually, sh already, yeah. It should have finished by now, I was gonna say. And let's go to the folder. And you got it right here. Black Bullet AMV Tutorial As you can see As you can see you 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 don't need effects all the time It's it's cool but you don't need it to make something awesome But let's say I want to make it look a uh, look a little bit better a little bit better I can do something like this. I can use video effect and I can go to color correction I can color correct it some. It will make it look a little bit better 
Uh, there are also some adjustments over here, like proc amp I usually use. But if you not gonna want to make just okay, I haven't even show you the bad effects. But let's say I want to make this specifically this clip more bright. I will search up the effect I want, drag it on to the clip I want it on. Now you see it come red. And then you go up here to the effects control, and you got it right here: brightness and contrast. I want it to be brighter, 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 brighter. No, I don't want it to be brighter anymore. I want it to be darker. Oh god, that's way too much. I want it like this, and I want some more contrast. Like 15. Maybe too much. 10. And now it has some more badass to, badassery to it. No, you're not satisfied? Okay, let's add some more. I will go to adjust and proc amp because I want I usually use this for the saturation slider right here. Cause I like more color. It makes it look a little bit nicer. You can also choose the brightness and contrast here, so I don't even know why I need brightness and contrast. I I didn't even think about that. It didn't do the same thing at the same amount, but uh, anyway, you get the point. You can even split it so you can see it before and after. Pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, it's now it looks a bit nicer. What you also can do if you just don't want it on one clip, but you want it on the entire thing, you can go to back to your project, new item, and you can use an adjustment layer. Yeah, it's the same settings as your video. It should be at least. And you just slap it on top of everything else. And uh, the effect I did, I'm gonna copy it, Control C, uh, delete it from just that clip, and enter it to the whole thing, Control V. Right, now everything has that same color correction to it. And you ca as you can see, as I added all the entire c color collection, correction, the entire thing went red, so I need to render it. Uh, I'm just gonna do it by hand. Yes, I want to replace and export. Yes, I want to replace. So, um, yeah, that's that's without the effect. You can say color correction is an effect, uh, or it's it's an effect, but not really, because it all it does it makes it look look a little bit nicer. But yeah, that's about everything. That's basic about the program. Uh, I will go into next time about After Effects and all other, like some more extreme effects I, I'm doing and stuff like that. But if you don't need effects, go with timing of the music. I I would recommend that. And uh, yeah, just go from there. Try out some stuff and find a good rhythm with the music you're choosing. And she got hit just as the crash went out. Stuff like that. This is my favorite part when NQ jumps up. I I just this is like goosebumps. Oh yeah, badass. But yeah, this is enough for this tutorial. Think about the no sub credits, no watermark stuff, uh, royalty free music if you can, and let's uh, have a chat next time when I'm gonna go through some effects with you. I probably do the effects in like each a video for each effect because it will be like much shorter and much easier easier for you to just watch that video if you just need that particular effect. But uh, yeah, that's enough for now. Thank you for watching and subscribe, like whatever you like. Uh, tell me down below what if I should be some specific effects from some of my AMVs or. Yeah, if just general effects. If you have seen another AMV uh, with an effect, I can you can like tell me to watch it, and I'm a little bit gonna be like, okay, maybe I can do the effects, maybe I can't, and uh, let's see. So, thanks again, and uh, bye for now.